Yan fermented then. <laughs> okay. I said so. Kamote tops with alamang and fermented shrimp paste. Okay, my pink talaga. Wow, serioso talaga sila ba? Oo nga. Kasama na. So let's see what's in here. What's a fermented product in here? Apple cider vinegar as vinaigrette, right? For salad. And here, what's in here? It's full of nugget cocoa. Okay, so it's basically cellulose, right? Yes. And we have brie. Yes. And blue cheese. blue cheese on crackers. And then we have, what do we have, Neil? Uh, Colleen? Kimchi. Kimchi on fried rice with egg. eggs. And we have... Yogurt milk with uh, for presentation purposes lang yan. And then fermented uh, pink fermented shrimp paste with uh, ensalada talong ensalada talong and ensalada ensalada kamote kamote and green mango green mangoes. Look at the presentation. Yes. Okay. And here are the fermenters. <laughs> or, the fer or the eaters. All right. Okay, so let's uh, introduce the product. Let's start with. Yes, yes. Medyo wag, wag magsalita na malapit sa pagkain. Sino mauna? Oh, group one. Group one, where are you? Do you need the. Do you need the projector? Yes, yes. Okay. But they can Pesto. use the laptop na lang. Oh, pwede rin. Laptop na lang. Oh. Dito. Picture lang man. Okay, sige. So, who is our speaker? Miss Aubrey May. Please introduce yourself first, Aubrey. And make it creative naman. Ang introduction mo. Alright. Take it away. Okay, everyone, listen. Go. Quiet. Our ladies fond of eating habal na mangga. Well, if you are, that's what we are, that's what we have coupled to the food we are presenting today, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce to you our food chosen for today. We have the fermented shrimp cake. So without further ado, sorry. So basically, the fermented shrimp paste is of course a fermented food originally came from Southeast Asian country. And um, it is actually uh, known for its pungent smell and uh, saltiness. And it is also added as a natural flavor enhancer. So we dive in now into the biochemical factors. So this fermented shrimp uh, paste, it is obtained through the nat natural fermentation process of whole shrimp in the presence of 20 to 25 percent salt under ambient conditions. So during the fermentation process of this uh, fermented shrimp paste, uh, microbes involved include the lactic acid bacteria and at the same time the bacillus species. So we will delve in uh, later in the that. So, uh, benefits we can get out of eating fermented shrimp paste. Uh, it is actually a good source of protein. 
and a uh, good source of polyunsaturated fatty acids such as the docosa hexanoic acid and echosa hexanoic acid. Uh, these two polyunsaturated acids are actually uh, uh, serves as antioxidants in the body and we know that antioxidants uh, prevent or delay the cell damage in our body. So to that, uh, to us, uh, eating fermented shrimp paste uh, can act is also can be a good source. Yeah, as what I have said earlier, an antioxidant trying to be forced to the aroma and flavor of fermented products. And at the same time, it's peptides and amino acids. We have prepared three dishes here. First is we have prepared raw uh, green mango, which you could use to dip your raw mango on that pink fermented shrimp paste. Then we also have a salad, kamote uh, tops is what we call salad, which we blanch it in uh, hot water. And then uh, with the use of onion and tomato, we were able to and mix it all together. Then you'll have your salad. And lastly, we also have and salad and talong, and salad and talong eggplant. or eggplant, uh, steam steam eggplant. And there's some garnishes here as well, which we use. So we have the pink fermented shrimp paste and also the onion and tomato to enhance its flavor. So that's it, viewers. So now we go to group two. What is your product, group two? So good morning, guys. Um, thank you so much for that presentation, group number one by Miss Opri. So. Let's listen, please. So, before we start, um, you guys did your presentation. I'm sorry. So, sorry. Uh, I, okay, guys, take two. So, guys, I need your um, attention. So, when I say yo, you say girl. Okay? So, yo. Girl. Yo. Girl. Yo. Good morning, everyone. So, for today, I will be I, me and my partner will be presenting our product, which is Alaska yogurt drink. So, for our introduction, so drinkable yogurt or no viscosity drinking yogurt is popular in many countries, including ours. And it is a staple for, yeah, especially kids na ginagawang baon ang yogurt drink. Uh, the composition varies by product, but it is generally produced the same way as we produce the uh, dor uh, normal yogurt that we know, which is uh, high, high, uh, high, which has higher viscosity. So, ang pag-process nito is the same as the yogurt that we know na yung uh, thicker type of yogurt. <laughs> are two bacteria involved in the production of yogurt drink, which is the Lactobacillus delbrachii del and the Streptococcus thermophilus. But you may be wondering, if there are two bacteria, bacteria present, they will be, naturally, they will be competing for the, uh, for the nutrients inside the product. But these two actually have a positive relationship. So to further explain this, we have this uh, uh, this diagram, which is yung positive interaction between Streptococcus thermophilus and Lactobacillus delbrachii. So, your uh, product to us. So, guys, good morning again. When I say yo, you say gert. Yo, yo gert. Yo, gert. So your product, uh, is, uh, product to us. So, guys, good morning. So this is and say yo, you say gert. So, this yo, is a yo, gert. Gert. Yo, gert. So, here are the ingredients. Alaska, fruity, yo, what? Drink shot. So, this is a yogurt flavor. Drink. So, here are the ingredients. Drink shot. is kimchi and so <laughs> kimchi have you wondered why Koreans have a glass skin? No. Uh, there is a study released by um, Healthline Med Group that 
One of the suspected reasons for Korean nice skin texture is their habitual eating of kimchi. Kimchi is um slight, slightly spicy Korean sort of meat from fermented vegetables. And it has become a staple in Korean diet. As you have as most of us watch Korean dramas, but every time they eat, there is also a kimchi side dish. So let's go to the preparation. So this is a procedure for preparing kimchi. It's a recipe provided by Yojun Kang, a local kimchi expert. So one day, someday, if you have a mother-in-law to impress, you can refer to this recipe. <laughs> a kimchi, kimchi is typically fermented by wild culture. So unlike other food that has um, starter cultures, kimchi are naturally fermented. As you can observe in Korean households, they prepare their kimchi in their own home, so um, their products vary and the taste of their kimchi and the quality vary depending on the seasonings and the raw materials that they have used. But the common ingredient, uh, the common main ingredient that uh, Koreans use in their kimchi is the Chinese cabbage, which is the common ingredient of our kimchi today. So, annyeonghaseyo! This is our product for today. It's kimchi fried rice with egg. <laughs> the kimchi from the brand Mana Fresh and Healthy Kimchi from the department store. Thank you guys. Because today is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful life. One and two. A one, two, three, go. Oh, it's a beautiful life. It's a beautiful life. Oh, oh, oh. Truly translucent, gel-like substance produced by Acetobacter selenum. So this fermentation is pretty straightforward because unlike other food which has many lactobacillus and other fermentation and many together, they together ferment. This one, it is a soloist. Soloist as far as we, we've researched. So uh, uh, Natalie Coco is sugar-enriched coconut water fermented by the bacteria Acetobacter selenum or commonly known today as Gluconobacter selenum, so it has a new name. So, and moreover, Natalie Coco, which has its roots in the Philippines, where it was created in 1949 as an alternative to the country's traditional nata de piña. So we have an excess or supply for coconut water because we love nature so much and we love food so much. We combine them and now we have nata de coco. Okay, so in nata de coco we have bacterial cellulose. This bacterial cellulose is produced by the acetobacter cellulinum which causes the coconut water enriched with sugar to turn into gel. So if you're wondering how does coconut water turn into gel? Well, that process is facilitated by Acetobacter selenum, which produces bacterial cellulose, which hardens and makes the coconut water gel. So now, what is made by... <laughs> Our product is made by my mom, because I have no time in life. So my mom ordered milk, Nestle cream, evaporated milk, uh, nata de coco, and then mango to have this wonderful taste. This is a hot pot of very, very good materials and very, very good culture. Culture? Culture of Filipino people because its roots is from the Philippines. Because we have mango. Mango is the national fruit of the Philippines. Right? So, very culturally. So, guys. Do you want to be sexy and glowing sa pictorial? Yes! 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 Apple cider vinegar. Hilawi lang. So, for our presentation, we have here a... 
Let's go for salad and it's dressing or it's salad dressing is the vinegar or sa apple cider vinegar. So, in our presentation, we have here the fermentation process of apple cider. So, the apple cider um, fermentation increases the bioactivity of the bioactive chemicals contained in apples by significant, significantly altering the product's feature, including composition, health promoting qualities, and sensory profiles. In the salad, we have here lettuce, um, tomatoes, egg, and cucumber mixed with our salad dressing, which is the vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and if you want to add also mayonnaise. So that's all, guys. Thank you. Hello, guys. Today, we will be tasting blue cheese. First time ever in my life. So, how, how do you find it? Strong, right? But not bad. Masarap ang blue cheese, you like it? Oh good. Hindi hey. blue cheese yung nauna. And then the brie is uh, very very mild. Okay? Ah uh, ako din, I I like brie and camembert. Pila, pila, pila. So tell us which one you like. Of course, I also brought a fermented product in class and that is blue cheese and brie. Okay. <laughs> That's blue cheese and how do you find it? Oh, of course, lasang amag. But it, is that something you will snack on or eat? Okay. And how is the brie? Because it's very mild. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. As soon as you are done here, you can uh, go by by station, and um, you can always do a circle, no? Pabalik balik. But don't just stay in one place. Para naman the others have a chance to try. See? Alright, there is a fried rice station with kimchi. You can put you can put the steamed vegetables and the bagoong and also the salad with apple cider vinaigrette. That concludes our um, parade of fermented food. And now we have shifted from lecture to laboratory.